Hello and welcome back to another video. This one is probably going to be shorter than normal because I don't really have loads to talk about, but I do have some photos to show you, so definitely stick around. But before this video starts, I just want to give a big thank you to everyone that watched my last video. For the first three days of that video being out, it was my best performing video of all time. It slowed down now a hell of a lot, but it was just amazing to see 1000 views within 24 hours, which was just crazy. Like I've never seen that before. And that isn't exactly loads to many people, especially when you consider people get like tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of views in like the first 24 hours. But for a channel my size, that is all I could ever ask for. So once again, thank you so much for checking out that video. And if you haven't, be sure to go watch it because it's got quite a few photos in there. Anyway, this video is going to be about creative burnout. I'm not going to give you some miracle way to fix it or like those five tips to stop creative burnout. I'm just going to discuss it. So in my last video, I mentioned that recently I haven't taken many photos that I liked. The last photo that I was happy with and like truly happy with it was back in Wales, which was a month ago. It's this one here. I still really like the photo and I would love to make a print out of it at some point. Anyway, as I was saying, it has been a while since I've taken a photo I've been happy with. And although I have been shooting at least a couple times a week, nothing that I've created has interested me. I had been making trips back and forth over to St Michael's Mount since I was doing a project there about the people who live on the mount and also work on the mount. While I was super excited about the idea and went into it with lots of hope and an open mind, whenever I got there, all I wanted to do was go home. I can't pinpoint what it was, but something about this project just completely uninspired me and made me want to put my camera down for an extended period of time. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure what caused this, but I think one of the factors towards it was the fact that I wasn't creating for myself. Realistically, I was creating this for my uni lecturers as they loved the idea when I mentioned it to them. Every time I spoke to them, I got more and more inspired to shoot for this project, but every time it actually came round to shooting, I just hated it. I kept telling them over and over again that I hated the shooting aspect of this project, but every time I saw them, I left feeling more inspired each time to give this another go. But I took my last trip to the mount, taking an entirely different approach, and shooting in a way that I have never done before, thinking that would help, but it didn't. In fact, it made me feel weirdly down about my work. I felt like I wasn't doing anything right and I wouldn't do anything right ever again. It sounds silly since it was only one project, but I was so excited about it and I really wanted it to work. So for the next two weeks, I was left feeling quite depressed. I hated every photo I took and all I did was sit around playing Elden Ring. But around a week ago, we had a class where we had to make a small pitch about our like, projects and I mentioned in mine how much I was struggling with my work. I had also mentioned how I had an idea of photographing people with tattoos and piercings. I basically just said in this pitch that any ideas or suggestions are more than welcome as I could use them right now. In this class, we had a little notebook and in that notebook, everyone was able to write down their opinions or ideas about your projects. And when I looked in my little notebook, there was an overwhelming amount of support from people. Most people gave me suggestions of people to photograph that had tattoos, and others just said how much they liked the idea. This made me think about the project more and more, and I eventually got to a point where I thought it could be a really good project for me to do. And I thought it would be a good project for me to do purely because I can set the boundaries for these photos and for how I shoot. Whereas with the St Michael's Mount project, I was basically just asking people for their portraits, them and there, without actually speaking to them much about the project. Obviously, I did speak a little bit, but for the most part, it was just like, a, hey, hi, how are you? I'm doing a project. This is it, blah, blah, blah. Can I get your portrait? And while I used to do a lot of street photography like that, I realise now that it's just not my type of thing. I wanted this project to be a slow paced, one to one, comfortable portrait experience. So that is what I set out to do. I started contacting people and everyone was so open to be in this project. I was super inspired and happy to create work for this project and I done so. I met up with someone on my course called Izzy. Izzy said herself and her boyfriend were down to be in this project and more than happy to let me get some photos of their tattoos. But Izzy wasn't free for very long so I ended up rushing myself and not being happy with the photos. And I was once again down in the dumps about my work. I was really excited to create some work, but I hadn't done it the way I wanted to and it made me feel shit. But fast forward to yesterday, I met up with Maddie and Jordan. 
They both said they'd be happy to feature in the project and I ended up getting these photos. I took my time in this shoot, I got as relaxed as I could be, and I didn't feel overwhelmed but most importantly I was creating this work for myself the way I wanted to do it. All it took was for me to shoot how I felt was right and I know that sounds obvious but to me it didn't for a few weeks. I wanted to create work that would impress people but in doing so I was creating work that was terrible as it wasn't what I liked to do. Anyway I just wanted to share this with you all as I keep seeing videos about creative burnout and like creative ruts and everything and how people are trying to give you like these amazing tips to get out of it whereas in reality everyone is different and everyone gets out of it in different ways and those videos may help you but I find for the majority of people it is just like oh go take a walk take a break and it's well that's obvious stuff that's what you're gonna do already like if you're in a creative rut you're most likely gonna have a break it's just videos for views that's all it is it's just clickbait like I don't know how I get out of my creative ruts sometimes it happens within a week or two and then other times I'm like it for months luckily this time it only lasted a few weeks and now I'm left feeling inspired and I have a clear vision of what I want to create and how I want to create it I'm not going to rush myself like I did with the St Michael's Mount project. And I'm also talking to people before the shoot so they have more of an understanding of what I want to do and what I want to create. Anyway, that's the end of this video. It wasn't the most interesting one, but it's a necessary one to create at a time like this for me. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.